I'm completely driven as a scientist, there's no question about that. I've been a scientist since I was the smallest I can remember. And I used to tell my dad, that's what I'm going to be, I'm going to be a scientist. I got my CBE for doing early work with Paul Nurse and that was on the cell cycle and he got the Nobel Prize for that work and my experiments there tended to be very significant in linking the world of yeast cell cycle with human cell cycle. The reason I moved into industry was because I actually wanted to secure my career in science, but I found that academia wasn't going to offer me the stability I wanted. I had been married for five years and I wanted to have my first child by the time I was 29, and so I decided that the industrial environment would be more supportive of that work-life balance. BTG is an interventional medicine company. That means they work in med tech space and produce products, devices, to be used for patient therapy. As Chief Scientific Officer, I'm responsible for all of the research and development of all the products. In addition to this job, I've actually managed to put myself onto a board of Sanofi, which is the, the fifth biggest pharmaceutical company in the world. The reason I achieved the position in Sanofi was in large part because the chairman of the board specified of his two positions that were vacant, one had to be a woman. And that type of positive selection, although I had been rather reticent about it, I'm now persuaded. Confidence for women is really important to coach people towards because there is a fundamental difference between women's belief in themselves and I think a lot of women think if it's if I'm good enough it's going to be obvious and somebody will give me the position. So most of what I teach is, is, is getting women to be prepared so that they actually state what they might think is obvious but actually usually isn't to most people because women very often hide their ambition. The advice I mainly give to men and women is that their careers are their own to make. Opportunities come and they go. Take risks. So if you're not comfortable where you are and you want to do something, then take it in your own hands. But the next step is always slightly more risky and get out of your comfort zone and do it. And if you do need help, then seek help from those around you. I'm a great believer in that. We have such a rich source of people around us. So ask for mentorship, ask for just a friendly chat, and then make that leap.